Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. So today I'm going to do the sign of Gemini for February 1st to the 15th, 2020. I would like to say, do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. These may or may not resonate. Um, please subscribe, like, comment, and share on these videos. Somebody out there might enjoy them. Also to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. So today I have a message from Spirit going out to all signs, and that message is release control issues, okay? This could be you being a control, controlling person. This could be others trying to control you. Or you could be controlled by an addiction or a habit, okay? All of these things involve control, and Spirit is asking you to try and release those issues so you can live a happier and healthier life. Okay, so as you can see, I do have three stones here. I have stone one, stone two, and stone three. I would like you to ask yourself a question, choose a stone, and at the end of the reading, I will go ahead and find the answer under one of those stones. Okay, I am doing it at the end of the reading, so that's plenty of time for you to figure out which stone is calling out to you, okay? As you're watching the video, if you keep targeting on one of these stones, most likely that's the stone for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with Gemini for February 1st through the 15th, 2020. I've already pre-shuffled the cards. I'm going to go ahead and do one little quickie so we can get the energy of the reading. Okay, so the energy for Gemini for the February 1st through the 15th, 2020 is the Queen of Discs. Okay, so you could be involved with somebody holding the energy of the Queen of Discs, or you could be holding that energy, okay? Even if you are a male watching this, you can still be holding the energy of the Queen of Discs. You could be in your female energy at this present time, okay? Take it how it resonates. Um, but the Queen of Discs is a financially stable and secure woman, okay? She is also nurturing and caring, and she is uh, very balanced, okay? So let's go ahead and find out what the first three cards are for Gemini for February 1st to the 15th, 2020. First three cards out we have for Gemini are wealth. Isn't that just like you, <laughs> especially with the Queen of Discs, right? I had a, a sign that that was going to come out. So you're holding this Ten of Pentacles energy, Gemini. It seems that you have gained some wealth, okay? This is also a card of Virgo. You could be dealing with a Virgo also, okay? Now I also see here that, um, let me see if I recognize any of these symbols. I do see this, the the um, Merkaba. I do see um, Virgo. Those are pretty much the only two signs I know. I think I see Saturn here. I do see some Jewish symbols. I'm not too sure what they are, but yeah. Okay, so you could be coming into some wealth there, Gemini, or it has already come into you. Okay. Um, I also have the art card. Okay, I think this is a card of Sagittarius, right? This is the number 14 card, which is um, temperance. Okay, you see this uh, lady here, you know, dealing with fire and water. And in the normal Rider Waite deck, that is how it is, right? <clears throat> now, also in regards to this temperance card, I also do know Temperance uh, is a card of Sagittarius. What else do we have here? Let me take a little quickie look. Okay, well, that's all I can see. But as you also can notice, if you notice this, you know what I see is there's two people here. So that, that to me reminds me of Gemini, right? Because on the normal Temperance uh, 
card, it doesn't have it looking like two people. How strange, right? Is that a synchronicity or what? Well, let's keep going. <laughs> I also do have the Princess of Wands. There might be some premature information or communication coming into you, okay? Uh, some passionate communication. Um, somebody might be coming quickly and might be coming prematurely. Maybe they're worried about something. Maybe, maybe this is you wanting to send out a message to somebody, okay? Because it does seem like this person is going off into some sort of direction. So that could be you, all right? The next three cards we have here are the Ace of Discs, okay? Starting a new beginning somewhere, a new beginning in financial security, okay? Possibly starting a relationship with somebody that's going to be uh, allowing you to be financially secure. Maybe you are already, but maybe it's going to start out in a good sense, right? Maybe equal give and take type of thing going on here, right? But you're just waiting for something to happen, okay? Uh, perhaps you are working on yourself, trying to be a more virtuous person. You're waiting for something definitely to happen. And you will definitely also have victory in the situation. Good for you, Gemini. Very happy for you. You could be dealing with an Aries or a Leo, okay? Perhaps you're going to be waiting for something having to do with an Aries, and you are going to have a victory in regards to a Leo, okay? Very good. Looking good so far. Nothing mean and weird so far here, okay? <laughs> so far, so good. We've had a lot of ups and downs in the other readings, but we'll see what's going on here. All right, so the next three cards I have for you, Gemini, are we do have completion. This is the Four of Wands. This is a Soulmate Twin Flame card, okay? You could be dealing with an Aries in regards to this, but I do see that there is some sort of completion, maybe a completion of a cycle there. They have that word there. We also have the Knight of Swords. This is harsh and direct communication coming into you fast and swift. Somebody who's going to want an answer to something or somebody's going to tell you something very quickly, okay? Um, what else do we have here? We have the Queen of Swords. So this could be you, Gemini, right here, okay? You could be holding the energy of the Queen of Swords. So whatever energy or whatever uh, information that's coming into you might be coming from an Aries, okay, or a fire sign. But I do know that um, you are a very nurturing person. You're very intelligent, okay? You know what's going on. You give things thought, you know? But I do see here that she's holding somebody's head in her hand, okay? So I'm taking it, you know, we all know that the Queen of Swords will accept a person to come in, tell their side of the story, explain themselves if somebody wants to tell them something, right? But just know, if you come at her wrong, she's going to chop your head off. <laughs> Not really, but she might sever the relationship for sure, okay? So be very careful. Uh whoever is going to approach this Queen of Swords, if you are a cross watcher, please be careful how you approach her because if you want to savor whatever relationship or friendship you have with this Queen of Swords, you better come nicely, right? Okay, let's keep going here. Um, still so far so good, right? That's not too bad. As long as you're everybody's all good, virtuous, and nice, everything should be okay. All right, so the next three cards I have out for Gemini are... We have the Nine of Pentacles. So, Gemini, you could be dealing with somebody uh, who is single. They are financially stable. They can take care of themselves. Okay? And that's perfect for you, especially if you are somebody who already has wealth here, okay? If you are somebody who is financially stable, you want to find another person who is financially stable too. Perfect match, okay? Also, I do see here we have the Four of uh, coins, so you might be hanging on to somebody from the past or your money, okay? Especially since you've just come into this money, okay? We have the two of pentacles. It does seem that you have been juggling ideas, thoughts, people, jobs, perhaps, okay? Next, we have the four of wands, okay? Four of wands again. So you are probably thinking about a soulmate here, all right? We also have the three of pentacles here, wanting to work it out with them. This is the person that you've been thinking about. You're wanting to work it out with this person. And you have definitely shared emotions with this person in the past. Okay? But possibly in the past, there might have been some juggling going on. You might have been juggling on this person in different uh, relationships, or they could have been doing that to you. 
So the next three cards I have out for Gemini are the King of Swords. There you are, Gemini. Once again, you could be the King or the Queen. And it seems that you are wanting to come into this Queen of Swords uh, with an offer, you know, or with some sort of, um, you know, wanting to get back together with them anyways, or something like that. Let's see what we have here. Okay, we do have the Five of Swords. So you might have had a fight or an argument with this person. And you might want to uh, fix it because you are actually looking at the Queen of Swords here, okay? Um, this person, you may have been trying to manifest them and you're trying to watch these seeds grow positively for you. So uh, you might have somebody on your mind. She could be the Queen of Swords, okay? And um, you may have had harsh words with this person, but I do see you wanting to start something again with this person, okay? This person who is possibly this financially stable single person. So let's find out what next three cards we have here for Gemini. What other cards we have for Gemini in the story for February 1st to the 15th, 2020 for Gemini. Okay, so the first three cards we have out are the Knight of Coins. There either you are or you're sending your messenger. <laughs> right? Actually, the Knight of Coins is the slowest moving knight in the deck. Okay, so this could be you still trying to, you know, work on the pentacles, still trying to get things together. Okay, uh, I have you in this row with the King of Swords, which is you. That's you. So you might be the one wanting to send this message of stability to somebody. But it's slow coming because maybe, just maybe, you haven't received that wealth yet. Okay? I do also see you wanting to move away from a situation. Okay? Either move away or move towards something else. Um, I do also see the Three of Coins here. You're moving away to go work something out with somebody. Okay? Whoever you want to give this message to, who you're moving away to, you're wanting to work it out with them. Okay, we're trying to, you know, trying to bring something back from the dead, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Next three cards we have out for Gemini are the Ten of Coins, once again. So, yes, financially stable you are, are we? <laughs> okay. We also have the Six of Cups. You're thinking about somebody from the past, somebody you've had a relationship before with, possibly, okay? And when it comes to working it out with them, there is going to be some judgment placed on you, okay? Either on you or you on them. Maybe you're trying to figure out what they're up to nowadays, okay? Or maybe you have done something nice, not so nice to them in the past, and you will be judged for this action, you know? Unless you come in with a good ex good uh, excuse. Remember, we're dealing with the Queen of Swords here. If that's if that's you, you know, hopefully this King of Swords comes in with something, <laughs> something good. But if you're the King of Swords, make sure you come at her real good, right? All right. Actually, I see three people here. I see the King of Swords, I see the Queen of Swords, and I see that one single person. So you may actually be waiting to get out of something with the Queen of Swords because you're thinking about something from the, someone from the past. That's possibly, you're possibly moving away from the Queen of Swords now that I think about it. And you're moving away wanting to work on something new with someone else because you have come into this Ten of uh, Coins uh, energy right? You want to go to this person from the past, and this person is possibly going to judge you, maybe because uh, you did not do the right thing, okay? It looks like maybe either the Queen of Swords has cut you out of her life, or the King of Swords has left the building, something like that, okay? Only you know your story. We do have the Hermit. So even though this is all happening, you're still going within and trying to figure things out. Something's going on in your life that you cannot figure out, which is why you have to go within. It has to do with this person from the past. Okay? Uh, this person from the past seems to have been very temperate with you, very patient. Okay? Uh, I do see that this Queen of Swords energy over here has pretty much caused you very much of a burden. Okay? So, Gemini... That's what I have so far. You know, you want to come towards somebody from the past, okay? 
I also see uh, you wanting to come towards somebody who is single and financially stable, possibly wanting to have financial abundance and security with this person. But right now you're dealing with your partner who is definitely a burden in your life. There's going to be some judgment made, I think, on that partner that's going to cause you to realize this burden and um, move away from the situation. <clears throat> now... Next, uh, okay, you know, I also noticed here this queen of discs. This queen of discs, this could be that single woman, okay? Just because it's a queen doesn't mean she has to be married. So maybe the overall energy of this reading is this single woman who's financially stable. Just want to put that out there. I just, it just popped in my head, just noticed it right now. So, okay, so just letting you know that too. So as I asked you in the beginning, think of a question and then choose a stone. Hopefully you've chosen one. So we're going to go ahead and answer your questions, uh, whatever, whatever question you have from Spirit. I'm going to start with the first stone. So whoever chose this stone, here is the answer to your question. We do have the stallion. And the stallion represents inner power and freedom. Somebody wanting to free themselves, possibly from control, right? It could have been somebody with a controlling person, right? Okay, well, the answer to this question is no. There is a tower moment in your midst, okay? And it could involve an Aries <clears throat> or a Scorpio, okay? Now, if you chose the second stone, here is the answer to your question. <clears throat> We have the spider, and you know, I love this stone. It's just so nice. I'm not sure what it is, but we do have the spider, and the spider is creativity and balance, <clears throat> possibly trying to balance your life in a creative sort of way. The answer to your question is yes, and we do have the Knight of Pentacles, steady as she blows, right? Steady and slow wins the race. Now, if you've chosen the third stone, here is the answer to your question. <clears throat> we do have the bear paw, and the bear paw represents strength and mobility, okay? So maybe you're trying to get the strength to be mobile and go to wherever you need to go, right? Maybe go and work things out with somebody. The answer we have here, oh, we have is no. Nine of Swords. Somebody or something is keeping you up at night, not allowing you to move forward, I think. And this could involve you, a Gemini. Okay? So we don't, we have one yes um, answer, and that's the spider. The two outer cards are both no's. So this is what I have for Gemini. And this is for February 1st through the 15th, 2020. My name is Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.